I would be remiss if I didn't mention, you have had the chance to play one, one of the all-time great conservative characters, the Gipper. Yes, I am. <laughs> I lived in Los Angeles for seven years, and somehow I see more movie stars more frequently since I moved to Tennessee than I ever did in California, including my neighbor, the great Dennis Quaid. Yes, different neighborhood, but yes, we are neighbors. <laughs> pretty, pretty close. Yeah. We're all here in the great state of Tennessee, and you're making movies all over the place, including in the great state of Texas. Yes. And I have to ask, are people making movies in Hollywood anymore, or no? They're all going Not everywhere many. else. I think they still do their game shows there, and <laughs> yeah. housewife shows, but, uh, no, uh, they're not. It's uh, Texas is my home state, and I moved out to California in the 70s. And it was fantastic. It was really a great place to be and live. And uh, But if I was a young actor right now, uh, today, I think I'd move to Atlanta hmm. because that's where the parts would be, you know, if you're, and that's where the business a lot, so much business is being done because they have such a great incentive program. And so you're, you're working right now. You mentioned you're from the great state of Texas. For me, I, I, all my exes live in Texas, so I hang my hat in Tennessee, obviously. But a lot of people are going to Texas. And uh, if you have it your way, a lot more people who are making movies are going to be going to Texas. Cause yeah, we used to have there. a really great incentive program in, uh, in Texas. And uh, I made quite a few movies there. I made The Rookie there, uh, DOA. Uh, it's, I, I've done about four or five movies there. And um, I actually, sorry to interrupt you, know, you. I didn't realize you made that movie there. And I was thinking, I was like, what's my favorite Dennis Quaid movie? I freaking love The Rookie. That is the a terrific great. movie. And it's a Texas story, too. You know? Yeah, I didn't know the that. The Alamo, we did that there. But uh, thank God we did The Alamo in Texas. But uh, about seven years ago, um, seven eight years ago, the you know pe some people were led to believe you know voters that it, they started to look on it as a Hollywood giveaway, yep. really, and a lot of the business started moving out of state, and a lot of crew who worked there had a great crew base in Texas, you know, because you need crew to make movies, and uh, they moved to Louisiana or or uh, New Mexico. Now Oklahoma has uh, is got a great incentive program, and Texas is surrounded by all this, and of course Georgia, and they get up. You know, it's it's roughly about thirty percent out of the uh, taxes that they uh, they get thirty percent of the money that they spend in the state. They uh, they get back, right? You know, and, but they have those states have income tax, whereas Texas doesn't. So it's, it's a tough hill to climb. But it's uh, still, Texas can do it. They have a $35 million surplus. And it's time for film to come back to Texas and, and build an industry that's not just subsidized by the, by, uh, the, taxpayers. the taxpayers, but it, you, know, it, you invest in it. And for every dollar that is it um, put in, it produces five hmm. come out of it because the money is spent in the state you know, by, the, by the film companies and hotels and uh, you know salaries for crew that live there and things like that, restaurants. And that's, that's really where the money is spent. It's, hmm. it's, a lot of people thought that it goes, it's a big Hollywood giveaway and it goes to producers and you know, big, highly paid high Hollywood actors like me <laughs> but uh, I'm already getting paid anyway. I get paid <laughs> no matter where it's shot. You get shot. paid if it's in California. It's, yeah, it, right. They call that below the line. Everything, you know, that's uh, not the actors basically is below the line. And that's the you know, actual money to for renting cameras, for paying for crew, to put people up in hotels and, uh, and the like. And um, it's carpenters and electricians and uh, movie movie uh, sets, they're actually really kind of industrial sites. Right, yeah. right. So, you know, there's an interesting comparison to be made with people going to California. You know, you think California gets settled really during the gold rush. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, but but then you wonder, okay, who who really strikes it big to you know pull that money out? Is it the people going and finding? Well, the, that's the, the that's, goal? A, that's a really good uh, analogy to it because you, that's what this program, you know, the incentive program is basically. Uh, does you know people who went to California during the gold rush? A few of them did strike it rich, but it was the people who were selling shovels yeah. and who <laughs> who had hotels and uh, you know bars. putting people up in <laughs> right. bars. They were the ones who really made the money uh, right. for the most part, you know. And that stayed in the state too. Mm. Wasn't taken back to St. Louis or wherever <laughs> they came from. And that's what the incentive program is like. Because if you get people coming in. You're going to build an industry. You're going to have a lot of these crew people coming back uh, to uh, to Texas, and uh, you know that's right right there. You're going to have a, a revenue that comes into the state and a business. And you look at the uh, tech industry um, around Austin. You know, uh, Texas really has taken its share as far as tech. Hmm. From California, so because it's easy, it's more business friendly, right? I mean, and so it was made more business friendly for tech, and I want the same thing to have for for film. That that that's my broader political question here. I guess is why is it that so many people now are looking to make movies outside of Hollywood, outside of California? What does it mean for the kind of broader business and political landscape? Because it's cost too much money. Yeah, you know and. Uh, you have all these rules, you know, you can't just get a street in, uh, in a Hollywood or, you know, West Side residential area. You got all these regulations and yeah. much more money you've got to spend and, you know, you're restricted how long you can shoot. You, you got to, we, we were, I'm doing a, a Taylor Sheridan Western in Texas right now, yeah. who is doing great things down there uh, about bringing Texas film back. But uh, we had we took over the town of Stephenville. You know, it's just like five thousand people are in this town, and they got twelve million dollars injected into their economy in a two week period. I mean, that's you know, that's into that economy, that little, little microcosm there, and that that goes a long way. It really does. Well, especially when you know the money is injected, and then. If most of the people then just kind of go home, <laughs> you know, and so they leave leave the money there, and, and yeah, uh, you know, either you move on to the next. Yeah, and it's movie not like or... we're asking people to uh, invest in movies. I mean, it's way too risky. <laughs> Who, I don't I know what maniac in would ever invest. No, I'll do them, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to invest in them. You know, it's uh, it's just it's just uh, about the money that comes in. Is that what the beard is about? Is that for this role? Yeah. Well, you're now low. I, I think there are a lot of reasons I can't play a cool old grizzled Texas guy, but one of them is I can't grow the beard. I don't, I don't, it's a good Have you ever really tried? I've never given myself. Really tried? It's only ever been two weeks at most. That three weeks would tell you. That, okay, all right. Yeah. Well, maybe, listen, Dennis will, I have obviously missed my shot at being on this movie, but maybe I'll give it three weeks. No, it's too come late back. For that, ah, Darn, all right. Well, if they, if they pass the incentives program in Texas, maybe I'll have a shot for the next one. Yeah, but right now, right now there's a legislation that in, uh, at the State House, I went there about, I went to the State House about a month and a half ago on, an, on another bill, which is about the electrical grid. Hmm. But um, visited uh, the Senate and the, the Speaker of the House and the Attorney General and the Governor. And uh, the Governor asked me to get involved hmm. with this because he's really for it. And uh, the legislation is there. They want to increase the, uh, the fund for the film incentive. From uh, forty million, yeah. which uh, it is right now, to like three hundred million, which would be significant. Wow! And a great start, and it'll be good because uh, I think once that done, once that done, that three hundred million could become you know one point five billion if right. one dollar in, five dollars out, and um, so this is the end of the legislative session, and we're asking people to call their. Uh, state reps or senators and let's make uh, Texas the film capital of the world. So Dennis, is this a one-man crusade to bring movies back to Texas? 
Uh, no, we talked to the governor and that we had this legislation coming up and we wanted to get the word out. And, you know, I'm not the only actor that's, who has, you know, complained about this. And because we all want to work in Texas, all these guys who are from Texas. Yeah. And so my first call was Billy Bob Thornton, who is not from Texas, but he played Davy Crockett. So that makes <laughs> he sense. He seems like he could be at least. Yeah. yeah. Then I called Matthew McConaughey. He lives in Austin. And a Glenn Powell, who's in Top Gun. Uh, Woody Harrelson, because yeah. Texan there, and Owen Wilson as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, is it Owen Wilson's a Texan? Owen Wilson is from uh, Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, yeah, he and his brother Luke. And uh, you know, we uh, wrote a script up in, in a couple of days and then got a director. We went to wherever everybody was and shot the script and put it out and want to get people riled up. That's great. Now, if people are riled up, what can they do? Is there a website they go to? Is there a... Yeah, it's hashtag good for Texas if you just type that in. Okay. Google or yeah, the video that we made is out right now. In fact, you can find it on YouTube. And we're going to do a social media blitz and doing shows like this to get uh, to get the word right. out. Good for Texas. And the, and the usual, I guess not call your congressman because it's a state issue, but call your state rep, call your governor, or that sort of campaign. Yeah, there is at the, uh, on, you go to Good for Texas and it uh, will tell Texans just exactly how to do that. How to find your own state rep if you don't know who that is. You know, just type in your, your area code there and your zip code, I mean, and uh, right. find them. Great. All right. They can all do that. Then we can all head down to Texas, and if I can grow a beard, maybe I'll audition for the movie. Okay, well, I'll consider it. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, you have had the chance to play one, one of the all-time great conservative characters, the Gipper. Yes, I have. <laughs> well? Reagan is coming out, uh, which we shot in Oklahoma, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not Texas. But... Uh, uh, Reagan is coming out uh, at the end of this year. I can't wait. I've been so yeah. excited. I know I've been waiting COVID for threw time. everything you know for a loop, and yeah. I've been so excited since the first time I heard about this movie. I think it was at the California Club, maybe. It was the first time I heard you talk about this movie uh, for one of the Reagan dinners. Uh-huh. And yeah, uh, yeah I can't, I can't wait great, for it. That's a great organization. It is. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That'll, be, that'll be wonderful, and then who knows? Maybe we'll get some more, uh, more great conservative content down there, too. Yeah. Maybe. Well, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll trust but verify. <laughs> thank, thank you, Dennis. Thank you for being here. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. And best of luck on the campaign. Uh, we will see you next time, either in Tennessee or Texas or somewhere else on the interwebs.